Stingray. Hey. Going for a little bit of a bushwalk at the moment, trying to find where this track goes. Hopefully it turns out, I don't know, somewhere on the edge of the hill for a really good view. Yeah, yeah it's, a bit, um, it's a bit overgrown, but the dogs are loving it. So just from this lookout, we spotted that there's a car park just down over on the headland and there's a few people fishing and there was like a kayak that came out of there so we think that we should be able to paddle across to this island that's just behind me that has a lighthouse and explore that little island tomorrow. So we now have a mission of um, ticking off our second island in the Whitsundays that we've paddle boarded to. So we're about to paddle across to the island, we've spoken to a few locals and they reckon that it's relatively safe croc country. Yeah, like a 2 out of 10 chance of yeah. potentially seeing a croc. So we are going to take our chances. There's some little tinnies and stuff out, so Tins hopefully... A couple of kayaks. Yeah. Alright, so we will check in with you guys when we get to the island. Cool, starfish. Very nervous. camera gear in the back so I'm super worried about falling in. Yeah that's why I've got both dogs. <laughs> Alright let's keep paddling. Definitely not as calm as the last place. We are about halfway from the mainland to whew, so about halfway from the mainland to the island which is just behind me. Um, it's pretty cool there's lots of little starfish the tide really strong really strong it's pushing us inland there for a second we couldn't see the bottom but we can now so we're feeling a bit happier that we're close up How was that? Um, that was pretty cool. I mean, the first couple of metres was a bit sketchy, I felt, but once we got halfway across and used the seeing turtles and there was a stingray and starfish and stuff, and here we are, second island on the Great Barrier Reef, really. <laughs> Technically, I'll take it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull these boards in a little bit, tuck them behind the mangroves, and then we're going to go for a walk up to the lighthouse. Let's go. So we've made it to the island, now we've just got to try and find the path to get up to the lighthouse. Yeah, we think it's that way, so we're going to walk that way. We walked around for a while, couldn't find much. We decided to jump on Google Maps and we found the path, so... That way. <laughs> We might have to take some rubbish back with us because no matter where you go, no one lives here like plastic. So one thing we like to do when we're in shoes and the dogs aren't, we always make sure we give the surface a feel to make sure it's not too hot. And this one isn't, so the dogs should be fine. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. Because it feels a bit snaky. Means that we shouldn't oh, get a bit more distance out of them. It's like 10 kilos each arm. Work out. That's the old path there. Oh, that wooden thing that we climbed over. Alright, so we got to this nice clearing bit and it feels very snaky. I don't have a snake bite kit or anything. And Colby goes, ah, oh, do you want to try and go up the top? I said, no. I said, no, I don't want to go. But he has decided to um, go adventuring anyway. Well, it's like we're going up. There we go. There's the trail. Oh, 
Alright, so I convinced Jess to keep going because we're pretty much there. She was just a bit scared of some overgrown grass, which is fair enough. Lock the hubs in, boys. How cool is this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, I think it's made it to the lighthouse. It is time to do some rehydration. So we'll do the dogs first. Got this cute little travel bowl that my mum bought me. Hey, want some water? Wait. I'm just having a snack. So we had this big idea that we'd get to this island and we'd put the drone up, lighthouse, mainland in the background, be really cool. But instead we're actually in the middle of a swarm of seagulls. So Perfect. we don't really feel like fighting seagulls today. So I think you'll just have to try and appreciate the view from here. Sorry. Against Jess's will, I decided to send the drone to battle. Turned out the seagulls weren't too fast anyway. The North Head Lighthouse is Queensland's third oldest lighthouse and is situated on North Head Island, which is only a short distance from Bowen. The island was solely used for lighthouse purposes and only has the lighthouse, cylinder shed, tramway tracks, and the remains of a cottage and tank stand left. accomplished island number two we have come to this is the lighthouse and we're just going to start making our way back down this very very snaky track it's definitely um, less sketchy walking back down the hill once you've already been up it you know where to go we're not missing trails but that was pretty cool. I feel like we had a few challenges today. We had to cross a crocky, a crocky, crocky crossing. Had to walk up a very snaky mountain, but the reward was definitely worth it. So here's to getting out of your comfort zone, setting yourself some challenges and just enjoying nature, enjoying all these beautiful views. Yeah. So, I think we came this way? Yeah. Oh. Little shed. Ah. Alright. Come on, doggies, let's go. Boing, boing, boing. boing. <laughs> Jump! Jump! And we've made it back down to the side of the island. See if our paddleboards are still there. Yeah, hopefully no one's nicked our paddleboards otherwise I might have to call VMR or someone to come save us. Hmm. Probably won't use this part of the video. Some swimming. Yeah, do you want to paddle back if someone's taken our boards? Good trip. How cool is the beach? Yeah, look at all these corals. So one really cool part about this island is that the beach is actually full of corals. They're not too sharp, which is good for the dog's paws, but it's just cool that we're in a different part of the world where we're surrounded by coral reefs. Beautiful. Thanks. So we've made it back down to the beach and our paddle boards are here. So we can make it back. Thank God. No. Well, we're gonna tent. Yeah. I didn't really feel like swimming, so paddling's a much better option. All right, now we just gotta carry them down to the water's edge. 
head back and I think we've earned ourselves a good feed for lunch after this little adventure. All right, let's go. to the end we'd just like to say thanks for watching and a big shout out to all our new subscribers see you guys in the next town